I had a thought last night. I could be missing the mark, but thought I would bring it to the people and let us have discussion, dialogue. Let's see if we can come to a common consensus maybe on this. So y'all know I'm on a journey to like increase my health and wellness and fitness and whatnot. And uh, part of that is obviously getting more exercise into our daily and my daily and weekly routine. And so yesterday I was going for a bike ride just as my daily movement and I was having some interesting thoughts. So you know how like on the bike you can like adjust your gears and like you can make your gears where it's really really hard to pedal and alternatively you can make your gears where it's really easy to pedal and move forward. So two bike rides before I made it like it's so hard to pedal to like to go through my normal biking path that like I couldn't even finish like I was about three quarters of the way done I had to get off that bike and go home. And so yesterday I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take it easy today. I wanna give myself a break. I'm gonna go for this bike ride and I'm gonna put it on very easy resistance. So I got started. And I found myself having these weird conflicting thoughts and I was like, if it's not hard, like is it even exercising? Like is this even beneficial for my body? And after a while I just had to really catch myself because I was thinking like even if this isn't like as hardcore as like I think that it ought to be isn't it better than doing nothing isn't it better than skipping the bike ride completely can't I derive some health benefits by getting out there pumping that bike being outside for 30 minutes or is it like all wasted if I'm not pushing myself which brings us to today's conversation pushing ourselves especially when it comes to exercise do y'all think that that advice was meant for everybody and the reason that i ask is y'all know i'm learning about like human design i'm learning about how different energy types find energy the type of energy that they have um the quantity of energy that they have and i'm, le I'm learning that we're all just different we are all just built different in my previous video i just went with three energy types there's an actual system so if you're interested go check out human design but i was like there's those of us who just have not us because i'm not included in this category but there are people who just have what feels and seems like an unlimited amount of energy there are people who are selectively energetic that's where i fit in if it's something that i love to do i will find an abundance of energy for it but if it's not preferred it's very draining to me and there's just people where productive physical output is just not gonna be their thing because they have other contributions that they offer to the world and it's not in the form of energy so with this kind of concept on the back of your brain when it comes to things that are just about health well-being and healthy habits i'm just wondering is it time that some of us reconsider this whole aspect of you must push yourself in order for the exercise that you're attempting to do to have any value or benefit because that's what i that's where i'm at right now i'm like yes i understand maybe if you're in that very high energy group you have an abundance of energy maybe you're a professional maybe you're a competitive um you know performance athlete about the rest of us like is that like i understand how that advice could be very applicable to them ah, like i said i'm just talking about the rest of us like would we be okay if we just showed up and like uh would we be okay if we made exercise something enjoyable for us instead of like trying to always make it instead of always trying to make it an exercise of showing our um, self mastery and pushing ourselves to the limit and that's what I'm really working through right now because I sometimes can struggle to feel like if I'm not suffering if I'm not pushing myself to the edge of my capacity the edge of my strength the edge of my endurance that it was a waste and it was for nothing but here's the thing there's there are some things that are problematic about that mindset and there's consequences that come from that mindset so it's not like you can just adopt that mindset without there being impact and so um 
I don't know. I'm starting to reconsider. I'm starting to reconsider just for the sake of like getting myself to show up. Um, is it necessary to always feel like I have to push myself to the extreme for it to be worthy and for it to be beneficial and um, of value to my body? I got to go get the kids from school. We'll continue this conversation when I come back. I'm back. So I want to talk about some of the problems this mindset has created for me. And you let me know. You let me know if you feel like you're experiencing a lot of benefits from push yourself culture or if you're feeling some of these consequences too. Like I mentioned, if you are a high energy person, maybe this video is not for you, okay? Um, if you selectively energetic person, I'm talking to you. Like exercise is not your preferred activity and it's me potentially draining your entire If you just a low energy person, you know you just aren't. <laughs> I'm talking to you. So let's talk about it. Consequences. Number one. I think we can all agree that a sedentary life is not ideal. You know, sitting on the couch all day. Sitting at the desk all day. But if I feel like I have to choose between sitting on this couch and exercising the soul out of my body i'm gonna sit on the couch i'm sorry that's just what ends up happening i'm just gonna i'm just gonna choose the couch okay um i do not find i do not look forward to exercising when i have that mindset i find myself looking for ways to get out of it i find myself making more excuses and i would like to believe that if i felt like it was okay to take my bike ride and for it to not feel painful to have my music on and just be present in the moment and actually having fun i would like to think that i wouldn't have as much resistance showing up for that than you know compared to days where i feel like okay i gotta have it on the highest intensity because i need to really pump these leg muscles like i said i understand that 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 is beneficial but is there like no in between like is it not okay to be in the middle you know what i'm saying like why do we have to be on the couch or pushing ourselves to the limit how come it can't be okay for us to show up and to like do a c c c's get degrees people c is a passing grade so like what's okay what's wrong with us taking a c in this area for the sake of moving our bodies and increasing the likelihood that will show up. So that's problem number one. I just don't, I feel like it is too hard for me to want to show up. I think another consequence is, I think it's crazy to things that you could possibly enjoy. I feel like, I think it's crazy that when you are exercising, and you're actually finding enjoyment in it that somehow you also feel like oh this isn't really exercise this is really i'm not really doing enough because that's exactly what's happening with me on that bike ride yesterday like i said i was out the house for like 30 minutes kind of going around my neighborhood doing all the things and i'm like you mean to tell me like just because i had fun like that had no impact on my heart you know probably not as much impact as if i was going to the extreme but I would like to think that just because I am not suffering, that doesn't mean that like I'm not doing enough. And sometimes I struggle with that. Like if I go for a walk and I didn't walk far enough, I'm like, oh, well, that wasn't really serious. Or if I go for a bike ride, it wasn't tough enough. I think, oh, that doesn't really count. If I go for a dance class and I didn't really give it my all, I'm like, ah, oh, well, that doesn't really count. And I really don't think that that's a healthy mindset to have it encourages, encourages all or nothing thinking and once again if you're currently at a failing because you never show up like maybe let's be okay with getting c's c's get degrees another consequence that i experience is i believe sometimes when you're doing team too much your body can actually start trying to protect you from your choices um an example could be you know if you're eating a calorie if you're eating in a calorie deficit and your calories are just so low in response your body's going to start craving food and it's going to be harder for you to maintain that because you're going to be so hungry i think the same thing can happen when you're overexerting yourself with these exercises i think that 
you know, we always assume that, oh, this is an issue with willpower and, um, you know, you're not disciplined enough. But could it just be that this is a form of self-preservation? Could it not be that this is your body's way of protecting you and trying to express to you that this is out of alignment? And like, I want to exercise. I want to take care of the both of us. I want to be healthy too. But like, I don't think this is a way for us to do it. Is it possible that, yeah, it's your body trying to communicate to you that you're out of alignment. But because we've been just kind of forced this narrative, you know, we don't even really just be listening to ourselves like that. We don't believe in like our inner guidance. We don't believe or trust that our bodies will be kind of nudging us and letting us know like what works for it and what doesn't. So I don't really... So yeah, I think that finding it hard to show up for very intense exercises for certain energy types is a form of self-protection and that's why you struggle with discipline and that's why you struggle with showing up and that's why you struggle with motivation. Um, not because there's something wrong with you, but I think it's more maybe it's a protection mechanism to like keep you from like going overboard and doing things that are not aligned with your body. Like I said, this is an advice for everybody. I don't even think it's advice at all. It's just an exploration of thoughts because I feel like this mindset creates more problems for me than it does benefits. And I'm like, maybe I just need to drop the benefits of push it so that I can experience the benefits of showing up and self love and not beating myself up all the time. That's just where I am. All right, next kind of building off of the last point. Um, the previous point, I feel like this whole mentality of telling you to push yourself to the extreme encourages us to not trust our intuition about what works for us. I think every person is going to require something different when it comes to their lifestyle and how they choose to be healthy. And so um, there's all different types of ways to exercise. There's all different types of ways to exercise to be healthy. And I feel like when you feel like, oh, this wasn't hard enough. Um, I got to, you know, either do it harder or I got to maybe pick an exercise that's more intense. I think that it just encourages you to not listen to your inner guidance and not listen to your inner tuition, your inner intuition about what works for you, what feels good to you, what's comfortable to you. Because when things do feel good to you, when things do feel in alignment, you're like, no, it's not enough. You know what I'm saying? Or if things don't feel good, to you and you feel like it's like girl I remember taking some class I'm just not I'm not gonna be the person that can do jumps and flips and hop in all over class girl my knees will get to hurt now in my 30s but even in my 20s I couldn't do it and like I would go through a class like that and be just struggling the whole time and instead of being like oh this isn't a good fit this isn't a good match for my energy levels I would be like oh um I need to work out harder like I'm not you know, I'm not conditioned enough for this. I need to try harder, you know? And so I'm like, sometimes things are just not a good fit. It's not about you trying harder. Sometimes things are just not aligned. And so um, I feel like when you're listening to external advice from other people about what you need to do with your body, you don't really have those, you don't really have that reflection. You don't really have that internal dialogue about like, what is actually the best way for me to take care of my body, knowing what I know about myself and my energy levels. Um, and I think that kind of getting to a point where you trust yourself and your intuition to help make some of those decisions, I think is very powerful. So um, I talked about in a previous video, like I mentioned, let's just, just, just for cognitive play, pretend like there's these three energy types you know there's people who are going to be very abundant with their energy and like the rest of us is just like how are you doing this how are you keeping up with all the things i can see this category of people you know really enjoying those high impact high intensity classes and doing all the things i could totally see that you know whereas like groups in the middle like me um for me honestly i really learned to love like weightlifting and the thing that I love about it is that I get to kind of pick my own pace. There's no one right exercise. So I get to kind of experiment with lots of different exercises to find the one that fits right for me. Um, and I like that I can rest in between sets. It's socially acceptable to take a freaking break, you know. So that works best for me. But there might be something 
that works best for you. Maybe you can tap into like your childhood and like what did you like to do when you were a kid. The reason that I bike is because I was sitting there thinking about like that was something that I really enjoyed. So I want to like see if I can find more enjoyment in my fitness journey. And soon I'm even going to get a pair of skates because that was something I also liked to do when I was a kid. So just thinking about if I am selectively abundant, I have energy for the things that I care about. I'm going to pick things that make me happy. And you want to know what? It's very interesting. When I come back from my biking, like yesterday I came back, I had my music on. I was just like in a total vibe. And this is how I know when I'm in alignment and I'm doing something that works for me is when I'm done, I actually generate more energy from that, from that engagement. So that's exactly what happens to me now when I bike. Not now, what happened to me yesterday. And also one other time before where I wasn't like being too intense on myself. I come home and I actually have more energy than what I started with. Whereas things that are out of alignment for me, I could tell because when I come back, I feel drained. So I'm just saying that works for me. And I'm very much into thinking about like, what are the things that I used to just like, not because I saw it as exercise, but because this is what I like to do. I like to dance. I liked skating. I liked biking and like I said weightlifting is kind of like newer for our strength training as long as it's in a way where I feel like um like where I get to decide you know my pace and which exercises fit good for me and then there's going to be that group that I told you about that for one reason or another there's just not going to be a lot of energy when it comes to physical output and that's fine because we all have our different strengths and weaknesses and their strengths are just gonna come in a different form and that's fine. But I can imagine this being the group where it's just like, girl, let's just walk. Let's just take us a nice little walk and call it a day. Like walking is so freaking good for you. Walking is so healthy. It is enough. I can see this being the group where they're just like, girl, I'm about to get up in this garden, you know, trim, prune these little uh, plants or whatever. And let's just like move our body, but keep it classy. I just don't have all the energy for all the things. And that's totally okay. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's see what I have on here. Oh, one thing I wanted to add about maybe for the lower energy group. Y'all, cleaning the house, that, that's exercise, you know? Have y'all ever mopped your floors before and just was out of breath when you're done? What's wrong with considering that exercise? Like I'm, I'm gonna incorporate handling some goals around the house with getting up from my desk today for 15 minutes, you know? And you could just be in your mind being okay with that, being satisfied that that's enough. So anyway, I am not with the American Heart Association. So please don't, you know, come up in here and if you experience health problems for not pushing yourself enough, blame it on me. I'm just letting you know that uh, from my perspective, I feel like that attitude has caused more harm than good. I understand if that's the ideal, most optimal way. But baby, some of us, we just need to get started first. We need to get started first before we start worrying about optimal. Because we down here and we're trying to go from 1 to 100. And some of us, we just need to get in the C's, get degrees areas before we start worrying about optimal. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that, you know, don't listen to the Heart Association. I'm just saying, what do we need to do to get started and to get this incorporated into our lifestyle? So here's some other ideas for how to just incorporate fitness into your day without it feeling like so traumatic one thing that me and my husband started doing is we started just making time to sit on the floor in the evening like sometimes we'll be watching movies and stuff together and i saw this tiktok that was just talking about how you know as kids we sit on the floor we sit crisscross applesauce and as we become adults we start losing that flexibility in our hips and our thighs because we sit in on the couch and we sit on in desks at desks so much and so they were just saying like simply sitting on the floor you know can encourage a lot of flexibility especially if you're doing like crisscross applesauce or if you're just down there and you just start you know moving your body doing like different like poses and stuff with your legs so that's something me and my husband have started doing 
and I can tell like that your girl was getting tight in them hips and we are reversing that so that's just something that I feel like is beneficial and doesn't require you to really be in that oh I gotta push myself because I've done that too with stretching girl I'll be trying to push myself with everything um because that's really a mindset that I have to unwork from myself um and then you know like for me just learning to be okay and taking the pressure off of myself when it comes to the things that I do like to do. Like, I like taking my walks, but I will kill it for myself if I feel like, oh, well, you got to make sure that it's at least three miles and you got to go at least this certain pace. And I've been really guilty of making myself not like, making myself not like walking, even like jogging. I used to really enjoy jogging, but it was when I started putting the pressure on myself to go further, to go longer to not stop until I hit this certain time that's when I started to not like it so um that's one thing I'm gonna try to get back into as well is just seeing what it looks like to just do that but to take the pressure off myself like I like seeing myself grow I like seeing the improvements over time I'm gonna stop putting my that pressure on myself um and we'll see if we can get that kick started and then like I talked about my bike stop feeling like you gotta have it on the extreme dial for it to be healthy for it to be beneficial i would like to believe that even if it's not up there like that that something is better than nothing so anyway that's my little conversation today i just don't know if that advice was meant for everybody in every situation um and if for some people if it does more harm than good in the form of encouraging people to not show up so that's my little thoughty thoughts for today um let me know what you think down below is this a mindset that you find yourself struggling with as well? Um, do you find yourself feeling like your efforts of uh, health and well-being are not good enough if you didn't push yourself to the extreme? Um, and yeah, where do you think you got that from? Like, yeah, let me know your thoughts about this topic as well. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.